Namaste guys, Ashish here for Namaste Tech and what you are looking at is a Zenfone 3 Max. Today we are talking about tips and tricks in this video. Asus has loaded up Zen UI, the same UI they have on all their phones and while all the tips and tricks remain same, if you own this phone, these tips can be useful for you. So we are starting with Zen UI home features. Now when you are on the screen, you might want to do a lot of stuff here. Now my whole home screen is all loaded up. And if I want to change the customization here or on the home drawer, I can do it. So first thing what I'd like to talk about is screen pinning. Now, if you are giving a phone to somebody who should just stay on that screen and nowhere else, maybe particularly to one particular app, you can do that. So to do that, hit the multitasking button here and tap on this icon which looks like a pin. You need to turn it on first. Once done, you might add another security feature which says ask for unlock pattern. I'm not doing it now, but you can do it. This makes sure on the double that nothing else get access on your screen. Anyway, coming back, once it's turned on, now tap on this and you'd see the spin like feature on all the apps which are available. I'm going to hit this. So once you hit the pin, it will say screen is pinned. The Keep it in the view until you unpin, touch and hold back and recent app key at the same time to unpin. Say, got it. And the screen is pinned. Now you can see if I press anything, it won't work. Well, it does give me some notification for that. And this is why we have that security feature available that you really need to use. So I'm going to do both the button together and the screen is unpinned and it's caught. Now, how do you quickly find an app when you have so many of apps pre-installed as well on the Asus phone? So what you can do here is tap on the search icon when you are on your home drawer and then you can type in for the app you're looking and it shows up. Now, there is more to this. If you tap on this, you have options to use gesture. You can add apps, contact search as well if you want. Then you can change your search engine if you want. Like you can see the contacts have appeared now, depending on what app type. This is very useful and you should be using it. Smart group. Now, if you want to arrange all your apps in a particular group, depending on that type, you can do that by coming to the home drawer, hitting the menu bar here and select smart group. When you do that, you get a preview of what the app drawer will now look like. You get a proper view and it cannot be undone. So make sure if you are going to do it, decide smartly. If you want to lock your apps or hide your apps, Zen UI has this feature inbuilt from a pretty long time. I remember that doing in Zenfone 2 as well. So hit in the menu bar and you have got lock app and hide apps here. So you can lock your apps. Of course, it asks for a pattern. There you go and I can lock calendar and few things which I don't want say done and they're all gone now if I go to my home screen launch camera it asks for a pattern similarly if you want to hide apps you can do that by selecting them say I'm doing the backup and the calculator here so these two apps won't be available in the drawer but then again you can go to hide apps and probably go to the end and you can see these two apps are hidden available here well it's not very effective but it's very effective if you just want to hide them from the kids now let's talk about unread notification badge so this count badge like thing on your apps for example i've got 18 emails on my gmail that's unread if you want something similar which gets more attention because you get to see it right away without pulling down your notification drawer you can do that by going to again app drawer go to preferences and here you can see you have got under counts patch here and you can enable it for all those apps which you prefer to get the count patch last on the home drawer is the audio wizard which will just find it this is useful for those who 
love music it's called as audio wizard that comes up on the search so we can just tap on this now this is specifically designed for one kind of music or maybe gaming movie outdoor smart depending on what you do you can it automatically will switch profile a very useful thing which i would say so if you're a movie buff on your phone or if you listen to a lot of music on your phone just do this thing and you can also go for advanced effect where you can change the equalizer or the volume according to your preference best i think is to choose the smart so it works depending on what you're playing on your phone now that we're done with the home ui thing let's go to settings and see a couple of things there okay in the settings the first thing you need to enable is the call recording thing if you use them a lot so go to call settings and just scroll a bit and it says auto call recording just go here and enable it it'll show if all your call recordings write automatically in the audio recorder setting it will be available as a file and you can have a custom list as well for whom you want to enable do you want it to enable for a certain number of users only or you want to have it for selected members only so you can switch to custom list and add user list as the users especially for the unknown users this is very useful second thing in the settings we'll take a look at the display if you use your phone a lot especially in night you need to enable the blue light filter here so that the effect or the stress on your eyes is lower it just makes the display a little warmer so it doesn't look very bright and hurts your eyes this is important you should be using it Zenfone 3 Max comes with a power management app which you should use it basically helps you to save a lot of battery life though it comes with 4100 mAh you might still need it if you are a heavy user so you can see it just gives you an option to choose between performance normal power saving super saving mode so if you want all your apps to go down you can go into super saving if you want to customize depending on what you want to use you can just tap here choose the brightness level choose network switch by schedule is also available so let's say if you are sleeping at night and you don't want your apps to drain a lot of uh, data you can turn it on so all your basic phone things stay turned on but the rest of things go off the last thing in this here is the easy mode which i find useful so this is the easy mode if you turn it on what it does it gives you a better view so this for those who find all those things pretty small and they want only basic things to be available on the phone and this is what it does it gives you access to all those things and it's an easy mode for those kind of people so guys this was all about asus zenfone 3 max tips and tricks it's basically all the zen ui tips and tricks but if you have this phone this is useful for you let us know your questions in the comment section and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.